What's up, guys? It's your girl, Anaphoria, and I'm back with another music breakdown. I want to take this time to talk about Fireboy DML's newest album, Ade Dambola. Also, I'm a little under the weather, so excuse my voice and excuse my accent because I really tried to say the name. I was actually really taken aback by this album, and I was really surprised that I liked it so much. I think initially when I first listened to it, I'm like, mm, it's not giving old Fireboy, but like, I have to also remember that artists are always evolving and I need to like stop holding on to the past of how I see an artist and accept them evolving. And I just really like this project. Like it was giving 80s pop meets Elton John meets Afro pop meets Fuji vibes meets Amapiano. Like we got a bit of everything. And I think one of the things that I've loved about the way African artists have been putting out music lately is that like they're touching like every genre and they're really showing you how versatile they are. The beginning of this project gave me pop star. It gave me vocal ability as well. Like I've always known Fireboy to be a vocalist, but you could really hear it on this first part of the album. And I just got the vibe of of Elton John when I was listening to it. I thought it was really cool, especially the tracks with John, John Baptiste where it was just a piano playing and he had a, a the, the interlude at the end as well. That really showcased his vocal ability, but it also just reminded me of a modern day pop star. And I really like this part of the album. I think he kind of wanted to show you something different. And then you hear the track with Spinall, One Day's Pop, and everything kind of switches up. You know, when Spinall and Fireboy on a record together, listen, they're always making magic. And I'm really happy that these guys came back together. And honestly, I wish this came out as a single because I think that it would have gotten a lot more traction. But nevertheless, it's still on the project. People are still listening to it. And it was still definitely one of my favorite songs. But it was at this point in the album that everything switched up. And I loved how he sampled uh, One Day Cole's The Kick. And let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you guys think I'm wrong. But I feel like it was a sample of The Kick. Fireboy DML is an absolute go for getting like my job on a track today. like the back and forth song I can't like he got like my job on his album like that's crazy and anybody who knows Congo below like that's a, that's like a really big deal my favorite tracks have to be call me yawa ecstasy with shun kuti letting go with lo jay ah lo jay's voice is so sweet like i really love that song and their voices together it was perfect every day and change your life and of course the aforementioned tracks one day's bob and back and forth i wasn't disappointed with this album in the least bit the ybnl boys listen they're coming strong because this was a good one i i literally have no complaints i had a lot of favorite tracks um, and it's definitely something that true music lovers would appreciate. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What were your favorite tracks? What did you guys think about the album overall? Is this, is this like maybe one of the top albums of the year? You guys let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.